Alright guys, welcome back and in this tutorial what I want to do is I want to show you guys how to pass data through routes and it's probably going to be really quick. I could have taught you guys this in the last video but whatever and this is pretty much the problem that we have. So we already learned that what we can do whenever we want to work with JSON data is we can take this file or a reference to it and we can store it inside a variable that we can use anywhere in our program on any page that we want. Simple enough. But here is the little issue and it's not really a problem like in the sense we don't have any errors but this is kind of the thing that irks me a little bit. See this app.js file this is essentially the manager for your entire application. So what we're doing right here is we're writing a piece of code that is only specific to one single page and we're sticking it in the file that is supposed to be responsible for managing your entire application? Well that doesn't really make sense. Why wouldn't you just stick this in index.js since this is pretty much the brains behind this web page. Wouldn't it be a little bit better that way? Well yes it would so let's go ahead and do that right now. So we can actually actually cut this part because we need it and we can actually delete all of that and that brings me to another point anytime you have code that is specific to a single web page then you want to stick it inside that route anytime you have code that you can use or reuse across multiple web pages or in other words your entire application you want to stick in app.js or some other kind of structure but that's pretty much how your project is going to be set up so anyways moving on in index.js Let's make a new variable and I'm just going to name it like var vd. I know that usually stands for something else, but for right now, it can stand for video data. All right, so we get a bad reference, and that's because our directory structure is a little bit weird. We actually need to have two dots right there, and whenever you have two dots, it means move up a directory. So again, we're in views okay it's gonna look in here nope we actually have to move up and then it can find our JSON file so again what we can do since whenever we render index we can throw in some additional values to get passed through to the template we can actually just do this VD and actually let's do this video data and we'll pass in VD that way we don't have to rename anything just like that so now we can use the variable video data in our template and it's equal to this JSON object so now let me run this again refresh hopefully nothing changes that means we don't have any errors in beautiful project structure so again what we did is instead of using code that was only specific to one page and including it on every single page we just threw in the page that needed it and we passed it through the route to the template and it's a lot cleaner this way so again like I said this is a really short tutorial so what I'm gonna do to waste some time is I'm gonna give you guys a challenge so what I want you guys to do is this you see how we pretty much loop through and printed out every single playlist well I want you guys to figure out how to take these little chunks of text and actually make them into a link to the correct playlist. And I'll give you guys a little hint. So each of these playlists that we referenced, whenever you click it, the URL is this base URL in the category which is passed through in the JSON data. For example, the first one is 294 and you can see the category ID is 294 so on and so forth so your challenge if you can complete it is to turn each one of these into a link to the proper playlist and just don't do it manually just don't you know type each link out using you know a href do it programmatically and once you guys are complete then paste it right here again if you're watching this on my website then you can just say like uh, the title can be challenge number one for Node.js or whatever and you can paste your code right, right there and another thing thank God I am uh, explaining this right now 
whenever you guys have questions about Node and you guys want to like um, paste your source code, you're like, all right, uh, this little chunk of code right here isn't working. I'm going to paste it in the form. Please use the code tags. So the code tags to get them is this little symbol right here. Paste them in just like that. A lot of people, they just paste it plain text like this and then it displays all funny like that. So again, whenever you're posting code in the forum, please use the code tags and uh, yeah, it'll save me a bunch of headaches whenever I'm trying to figure out your bugs for you. So for now, thank you guys for watching. As always, I'll see you later.